Hi and welcome to NTRAS. We're going to have a quick video here showing how to configure EIGRP on a Firepower appliance and a Cisco 3560CX switch. Now, I recently upgraded to version 6.7 on my Firepower and it's given us a few more options. So first we have to look at the setup of our switch. Now in this case, if we do a show interface status, I put in here a few of my different ports. So my Firepower data connection is on VLAN 20, and my computer is of course on VLAN 100. Now the Firepower management is on VLAN 10, so we'll look at that in a moment as well. Looking at my computer, we can come in here and do an IP config and see that we are on the 10.0.100.100 network and host IP. So from here, let's do show run and do a section of router. So you'll see here that we currently have router ERGRP1 configured with a network of 10.0.0.0 which will encompass all of our 10 networks. If we do a show IP interface brief, we can do exclusion of unassigned which will show all of our 10 networks. In this case, all 10 will be included. Show IP ERGRP interface will also tell us which VLANs or other interfaces are included in the ERGRP process, as you see here. Now currently, if we do a ping of 10.0.20.252, I'm able to get to my Firepower device over this VLAN 20 I created earlier on gig 109. If we do a show IP ARP, you'll see here that 20. 252 is indeed on VLAN 20 and we have the MAC address here of 8VFF if we want to realize that on our Firepower appliance. But for now, let's go over to our Firepower appliance and I want to show you my configurations I did on Ethernet 1 slash 8. Now you'll see here by default that the bridge group contained all of these internal interfaces uh, 2 through 8. So I removed Ethernet 1 slash 8 from here by just removing the group member from the bridge group specific interfaces. From here I went to interfaces, Ethernet 1 slash 8, and gave an IP address of that 10.0.20.252, which is a static routed interface, as you see here. I changed the interface name, saying that it's routed instead of the internal switched, and gave it an IP address of 10.0.20.252. So one of the big changes that Cisco has made recently in 6.7 is it's given us the ability to manage dynamic routing protocols. Sadly, we only have BGP, OSPF, and ERGRP. RIP and ISIS are unavailable. One of the other things we'll notice when we get into ERGRP as well is that it's kind of difficult. Now we can come over here to commands, it'll show routes, IPv6 routes, BGP, and OSPF, but it doesn't show ERGRP for some reason. So let's come over here and do show routes, and we'll see that we have connected and link local. So 10.0.20.252 uh, is directly connected, and 192.168.1.1 is also connected as a static IP address configured on that inside uh, BVI. So let's create our ERGRP object, and we're going to give it a name, so ERGRP, and you're going to notice that we don't have named mode, so we just have to specify an autonomous system number. In this case, we have to choose the same one from our switch. Uh, show IP protocols over here will show us that we have ERGRP running on this device, so we need to make sure we're using autonomous system 1 so it matches. Now from here you can just hit OK and that's it. But the problem is, is this is the only command that it will apply. Once you come over here to show disabled, you get a lot of other configuration examples, such as the setup ERGRP configuration for advanced or not, where this is where you can specify auto summary, router ID, distance, default metrics, uh, if it's ERGRP stub or not. Uh, we don't want to worry about this at the moment, so we'll just hit that disable sign and come over here to network object. Once again it is disabled with the plus sign so we hit the plus sign and you're gonna notice a couple dots on the left hand side. 
These couple dots allow us to duplicate the line in case we have more than one network object. In this case, we might want to come in here and say, okay, well, we only want that inside interface in ERGRP. Well, the Firepower appliance is only object-based, which, again, is one of the things I really can't stand, but we have to do it. So we create a new network called inside e one slash eight. This is going to be a host address, 10.0.20.252. So that's the IP address of our one slash eight interface. Once we create this interface, we can choose it inside e one slash eight. And if we have more, we can add them, but for now we can remove it because we really don't need to add more than one network. You can add routing instance parameters if you wanted to for passive and active. Now what this does is it has that no and passive interface default capability. So if you did do the 10.0.0.0 slash 8, it would put all of them in that particular subnet into ERGRP. So from here we can do a passive interface default and choose a specific interface we want to allow in the ERGRP process, in this case Insight 8, the routed interface. If we wanted to specify, oh by the way we can do multiple no passive interfaces with the three dots. If we wanted to specify unicast manual neighbor configuration we can do that here. We can also specify uh, default information in and out via an ACL if we create one. We can also do filter rules so we can specify in and outbound for direction and specify distribute list ACLs inbound or in an interface. But we're really not going to worry about this right now so we'll disable it. And you can also do distribution. So like if you wanted to redistribute BGP connected ISIS OSPF ripper static is kind of interesting that ISIS and RIP are listed here even though you can't configure them on the main page. Anyway, uh, let's just say connected. We can specify an identifier as well, which is the process ID or AS number or dot number uh, if ig ignored, if not applicable. So we'll just say none. So redistribute connected is here but we can also specify a route map if we only want specific connected routes. Now keep in mind you can also do static here if you wanted to provide like a default route uh, in ERGRP and use the route map to only allow that particular you know default route. We can also specify the metric information if we wanted to do that as well. But for now we're not going to do a route map but let's leave redistribution of connected, no passive interface, and the network configuration, and hit OK. Once you hit OK, it's going to be temporarily written to memory, and then we have to deploy what we've written. In this case, we created the network object for a host network, 10.0.20.252, and added the ERGRP process and its various configuration. So from here, we hit Deploy Now, and it'll take a while to actually deploy. We'll come back when that's done. So here we are done with the deployment of ERGRP. You're gonna see that it took about a minute and 41 seconds to apply a simple ERGRP configuration. Once again, I know it's my own personal opinion here, but the past Cisco devices were instantaneous, but now you have to wait a minute and 41 seconds to deploy something. Oh well. I guess it's just what we got to deal with. So let's come over here and verify on our switch. Show IP ERGRP interfaces. You're going to notice we now have a peer on VLAN 20. We do show IP ERGRP neighbors. And we have the neighbor of the firepower. Show IP route ERGRP. Currently we don't have anything on the switch. However, let's go back to this guy and do a show routes. Oh, there you go, and you're going to notice that we received D, which is the ERGRP process in the routing table of the Firepower in the CLI console. We can get to 10.0.10.0 and 10.0.100.0 now. 
So if I was able to ping this device, 10.0.20.252, and I can ping it now for my workstation. Let's do show ERGRP interfaces. You're gonna see that we have one peer on the inside eight routed, gives us various information about it. Let's see what else we can provide. Show ERGRP, we can show events. So you're gonna see we got connections and updates. Show ERGRP neighbors. Just keep in mind you have to tab it out so it says the, the whole command. 10.0.20.1 is the neighbor, the IP address of the switch. We can also do show ERGRP topology, which gives us the passive networks we've learned. 10.0.10, 10.0.20, and 10.0.100. That's our ERGRP topology. Lastly, show ERGRP traffic. This can show us some of the traffic we get as far as hellos, updates and queries, replies, acknowledgments, if we have any stuck in actives, and process IDs. So there you go. I mean, that was pretty simple. Let's do show route on the firepower and we'll be able to get to all of our different devices. One of the things that does make me sad about the Firepower CLI console is the fact that these are the only options you get. Packet Tracer, Ping, Show Commands, Shutdown, Trace Route Failover, and Reboot. And you have to spell out the entire command, otherwise it won't work. Luckily, if we do a show running dash config router, this will show us the configuration that was provided. Router ERGRP1, the network statement, passive interface default, no passive inside eight routed, and of course, redistribute connected. So we really don't have anything to redistribute to the switch, I guess. But once we create new interfaces, sub-interfaces, or zones on the Firepower appliance, they'll show up here on the switch, because as we saw before, show IP ERGRP neighbors, it is now our neighbor. In the next video, we'll be looking into creating OSPF, BGP, and of course, static routes. A lot of these are basically the same, where you have OSPF configuration here. You can create OSPF objects. Keep in mind, OSPF is process configuration and specific interface settings. BGP, a little different here, has the ability to create the BGP template based on the AS numbers and the IP protocols, but you also have BGP global settings. So we'll be going through OSPF and BGP in individual videos coming up. So once again, stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching.